Welcome to section 3 video number 1. In this video I will tell you how you can use this custom search engine in a website in a live website or an offline website. You can use this script in a custom CMS where you will just have to uh, you know add this script or a search box first somewhere in your website for example I can show you this website uh, online tuting.com you can observe the search box over here so you just need to insert this search box anywhere in the website and after that the result page will be this one you can put this code I mean this result code actually the PHP code only because there is already a HTML page so we don't need to add HTML page you can just insert this code there and what you need to do actually to change uh, your MySQL connection to your online uh, server for example in online server there will be a username for database and a password as well for the database and the database name and also you can select the table it is here this is size table you can select your websites online websites table here and the rest of the things will be the same but you can also add some functionality some security uh, some security features as well to avoid uh, people or hack uh, to prevent hacking attempts on your site so that is also a effect you can have in mind while putting this online so you can easily go to your C panel where you will have uh, you will have some options to create MySQL database is same like we have created in this local host the same interface you will find in your C panel where there, where there is a section of my SQL databases from where you can create as many databases as you want and the rest of the things uh, are the same like creating tables and adding you know columns etc so this was uh, just simply letting you know that you can use this uh, search engine script PHP script in your website as well as on any other uh, person's website or you can also use it independently as a search engine but you have to manually uh, add data to your table uh, one by one so after that someone can uh, search and can find the results you can also add a little bit more options but that's up to you how you do but I have given you the basic idea of this course in the next video I will uh, the next video will be the last video of section 3 in that video I will tell you how you can use this project and how you can uh, uh, you know use the database that I will give you in, a SQ, in an SQL file so you can use that for your own project you can practice that so let me come back in the next last summarized video which will be a summary of this course as well as I will tell you how you can import and export the database Ta -da.